The commissioning of the Karuma power plant, which had been delayed, is now expected to take place in November this year. Three out of the six units have already been synchronized to supply electricity to the national grid. In Karuma, commissioned by the end of this year, that will mean we are putting on the national grid 600 megawatts. And I know that the contractor is still working on, on some snags. They are still under the defect liability period. So we don't want to take on a plant uh, which has defects. Otherwise, it will be difficult for UEGCL to get money to repair defects that would have been repaired by the contractor. These synchronized units are now connected to established transmission lines that will distribute the power to its final destinations for consumption. The key transmission lines include the Karuma or Luyo line, spanning 60 kilometers, the Karuma Lira line, spanning 67 kilometers, and the Karuma Kawanda line, which was vandalized and spans 248 kilometers. Uh, is off taking because a real substation was commissioned. It can take whatever uh, that can be pulled out of Karuma. And uh, we have a 33 kV line that crosses the bridge, Pakwat Bridge. It is also um, supplying part of Nebi and Arua. But we expect a Karuma um, Lira Guru maybe and then Arua line also to help us supply West Nile. The ministry aims to achieve full operationalization of the Karuma Hydro Power Plant by completing the construction of substations. We have to prepare off-takers at the, at the end. Like we are trying to construct many uh, substations in West Nile where this power will be pulled, evacuated to, so that it can be distributed and then connected to the last mile consumer. So we are working with the Uganda Electricity Distribution and Transmission Company to make sure that they are ready to uptake the power that will be coming from Karuma. The technical commissioning of the individual units of the power plant is currently underway as planned, with each unit being synchronized to the evacuation line. However, the project has experienced delays due to persistent vandalism of the existing structures, which has hindered the timely completion and handover of the project. Marion Awori and Abdul Nasir Lubwama, UBC.